Hello, hello, hello. So the new Casino DLC has came out today and it's kind of boring, there's not really that much useful stuff, but they have fixed passive mode. So if you enable it and disable so it, the cooldown is now me. five minutes before you can um, re-enable it, whereas it used to be one minute. I hope you prevent like people from passive popping. Yeah. Probably people will actually play out passive a lot more. It's a lot of time people just like walk around the map in passive, doing nothing. New penthouse isn't really that useful. There's a lot of stuff you can buy, like a garage and a cinema area, which isn't really that, that useful. But um, if you max everything out, get the most expensive everything, it comes to 6.5 million. And if you don't get anything, it's 1.5 million. And I'd recommend only the garage. That's the only main thing that you might want to get. It's got a lot of spaces for cars. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. Are you talking about the one that's on the roof? Yeah. I look like Nico Bellic, don't I? It's weird. It's not, not. This isn't what my NPC usually looks like. Hold on, let me show you what she usually looks like. See how much worse she look. So, this is the inside of the penthouse. There's a, there's a lot of like random spaces. This is where we can do gambling. There's uh, bedrooms, a bar, and these is like arcade machine to play on. There's like two different games, I think. I'm, I can find any others. It's an alright view. It's a place to sit. So if you've got a lot of people, you can do like gits and stuff and Rockstar Editor. But other than that, it's not really that useful. There's also a um, hairdresser where you can get a makeover. Not sure it's worth the money, but if you got it, you might as well get it. Because then you'd have to keep travelling to cross the map. Here's uh, the film room. Doesn't seem that fun. Unless you like watching GTA films. There's a dining area over here. Don't know if you want that. But if you want it, then you can buy it. There's also a phone where you can phone up for a limo or a Pegasus vehicle. You can't get weaponized vehicles from here though. Just if you want to like go somewhere yeah, quick. Service. You can't set a marker for the limo, so you can't just teleport anywhere on the map. There's only a few preset locations. As you can see, when you're in a weaponized vehicle like the Buzzard, you you can't go into passive mode, which is good. So people can't grief you. Well, they can grief you. They can't passive pop you, which is useful to try out. So you can go passive mode like normal. But as soon as you kill someone, you have a cooldown for two minutes. Passive mode is disabled as you've recently killed a player, which is right, boys, a good I'm thing. Alright, what, what was the one that knocked you out? I forget. Was it, was it Macbeth that fucking destroyed you? You can also still do the no, Evo glitch. The the fast Evo. And nothing to do with easy way out. That's, uh, none of that's changed. Another well. thing is, the thing where you get shot and then you Evo, that counts as a kill for, well it looks like it counts as a kill. Yeah on your screen, but actually doesn't. It's the same glitch as That's the previous update. It don't even carry a tire when other people also, you, it. when you're registered again, as a CEO and you drop the ST, they yeah. haven't added a cooldown or anything, so you can still drop the ST as much as you want. Same with armor, ammo, all of that. There's Wait, only a cooldown like for ghosts, and they're both the same times as before, for three minutes for ghosts and two minutes for private. Passive mode is also disabled in a tank. As you can uh, see, like I can't yeah, enable passive it. because it's a weapon on this vehicle. Wait, oh, this guy right here, he's lost all his money on the casino, guaranteed. He looks so sad, look at him. Yeah, he's angry, look at him. No, he's he lost all his money. He read the patch notes. He's like, why? There's new masks in the casino shop, but you can only buy them with chips, and they right, are kind of haunting. <laughs> It also seems like they've changed it where you can put a sticky bomb on a car and when the car goes in passive and you try and shoot it, the sticky bomb doesn't disappear. There used to be a glitch where if you shot the sticky bomb, then they wouldn't blow up anymore. But as you can see, they've patched that, so the sticky bomb still stays on the car. Overall, it's not a bad update. I mean, there's the casino where there's stuff to do inside, but other than that, there's no like weaponized cars, no new weapon, nothing really for combat, so it's mainly just like normal cars. It also fixed um, passive mode and a few other glitches. So overall, it's not bad, could be worse, but it's not the best DLC.